I don't know. I am a, I was a lot of work, but it's good to me. <laughs> okay. Nice to see you, Patty. Thank you, Sergio. Hello, hello. Hey, hello, hey. hello, how are you, teacher? I'm fantastic. What about you? Yes, I am here again. That's perfect. Thank you so much. I admire your commitment to be here in the class. Thank you. Thank you and welcome. Welcome, welcome. It's nice to see. Good evening, everybody. Hello, hello. I see people online. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Apart from Sergio, what about you, Patricia Bonilla? How are you doing today? What's new with you? I was, I was good, but I was a lot of work in the uh -huh. morning, but in the afternoon, I don't have a, a lot of work. And then I, I was uh, in the gym, Oh, with my right. partners mm -hmm. and then i am here <laughs> all right thank you thank you so much just yes. helping you with something i don't have or i didn't have um, talking about the past didn't. yes I didn't. correct excellent. i didn't have i didn't have right you. excellent thank you nicely done thank you thank you thank you I see more people. Eric, let's do the let's do the sound check, Eric. Yeah, checking the sound system with you. How is everything? <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Perfect. I can listen to you. How how was your day? <laughs> Excellent. How, how was your... Actually, uh, mm -hmm. actually, I'm really happy because I solved the my, my microphone problem. <laughs> and, and what was going on? Yep. What was the no, issue? No, it, it was it was my my um headphones. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh -huh. I changed the my safe my my headphones. Uh -huh. All right, oh. and that's it. <laughs> yeah. Easy solution, you yeah, know. My... Yes, yes. I, I didn't I didn't know that my my headphones uh, was wrong because oh. in, mm -hmm. my, in my in my in my cell phone, uh -huh, mm -hmm. my my headphones work really really good. But in my laptop, I don't know what 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 what's wrong with that. Mm -hmm. All right, but I'm happy but, to know but that actually, you. Actually, I'm really happy. <laughs> Perfect. Yes, Perfect. and and my day, yeah, really, really hard. Mm -hmm. I because I I I was to I don't I know if I say I was to get up, but I didn't I I did get up. Uh in the past, I got yes. up. I got up. I got ah uh, mm -hmm. I got up. Okay, I got up. At 5 a.m. I know, but for Sergio, uh, the tower is late. <laughs> really? Because Sergio, he, he get up really early. Yes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What time do you get up, Sergio? Um, uh, I think three minutes uh, after the 8 o'clock. Uh, after 8? Yes. Oh, that's nice. No, but, so, but get up, like in the morning. Yeah. Hey, good ah, morning. What, what ah, time? Okay, yeah. okay. In the morning, uh, yes. Yeah. I, I wake up at, at the uh, um, about uh, four? four? Four hours a.m. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, my goodness. That's very early. Um, wow. Did I? Uh, <laughs> In this case, today I I I go in my house uh, about um, uh, thirty minutes ago. Oh my goodness! It's I, a long I, I it's a long the, day, long day. All right, I understand. But yes. thank you so much. My respect. Uh, for yeah, Sergio. actually, <laughs> actually, right? And he's punctual in the class, so that's that's very good of you. It's nice. Let's see. Hey, Jose Efrain, how are you doing? How is everything? Good evening, teacher. Uh, I feel tired. Oh, my goodness. Difficult day for you? Yes. I, I work uh, hard oh. this, this day, mm -hmm. but uh, I 
I'm happy to be here. Yes. Thank you. Thank because you so I, I am learning English a lot. Of Perf perfect. I appreciate that because I know for all of you, you work, you know, you have a, sometimes a busy, you have a difficult day, but still you are here in the class. So that means a lot for me. Thank you. I see more people online. It is. How is everything? Are you okay? Ready for class? <clears throat> Hello, everybody. Yes, I'm fine. Uh, huh? But uh, today I'm working from from home, so the weather it was too bad because uh, it was really hot at home. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I would like to to have an air condition <laughs> <laughs> because. But but people say that uh, today at mm -hmm. night it's going to to rain. Oh, interesting. All right. Interesting. Thank you. Thank you so much. I would love to have AC in my house as well. Thank you. I understand. I get you. Oscar, how is everything? Ready for class, mister? Good evening, teacher and everybody. Yeah. Uh, I'm fine, but it, it was a very hard uh, day uh -huh. in work. Okay. Well, thank you so much for joining. Thank you. Thank you. Victor, ready for class? How is everything? Yeah, I am ready for this class. Yeah, everything is good. Um, I am, I am okay. And thank you. And what about you? I'm doing great, you know, just getting ready. And I'm really happy for the class. You know, I, sometimes I am tired. But when it is the class time, it's like, boom, a lot of energy ready for talking with you. So thank you. Thank you for joining. Thank you. All right. I see more people. Norman, how is everything? Everything okay for you, Mr.? Norman? Uh, hi, good evening for, hey. for everybody. Uh, in, yes, I'm a little, a little tired uh -huh. because my day was a little uh, hard too. All right. And All right. Hmm? I'm here. I'm here. That is important. Thank you so much. And I, and I truly believe him. I truly appreciate uh, the effort you do. All right. Thank you and welcome for the rest of you. I appreciate your presence here. Later on, we will have more time to interact, but at this moment, let me get started with attendance, please. So you know the drill when you listen to your name, please make a verbal confirmation that you are part of this video conference. Thank you. Let's get started. Cristian Alberto. Cristian Alberto Escalante, probably. No, Christian, Christian. Right, I continue, no problem. Claudia Esmeralda. I'm here. Thank you, thank you so much. How are you doing, Claudia? Ready? Yes, ready. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Eric Steven. Here I am. Thank you so much, Mr. Stephanie Guadalupe. I'm here. Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. Guillermo de Jesus. <clears throat> I'm here. Perfect, mister. Welcome to your class. Gustavo Javier. I'm here. Perfect, mister. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Iris del Carmen. Here. Thank you. Appreciate your confirmation. Javier Perez Castillo. I'm here. Sorry. All right. Thank you so much. Jorge Alonso Lopez. Jorge Alonso Lopez. I continue. Jose Efraín Rosales. Yes, I'm here, teacher. I appreciate that. Thank you. Jose Roberto Escalante. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Karen Elizabeth eh, Girón. Good evening. I'm here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Catherine Priscila Castillo. I'm here, teacher. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Katia Saray Pimentel. I'm here. I'm here. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Then I have Katie Isela Ceron. I'm here, teacher. Perfect. Manuel de Jesus Rodriguez. Mr. Manuel, Manuel, Manuel. I continue. Miguel Eduardo Garcia. I'm here, teacher. 
Thank you so much, Mr. Monica Andrea Vasquez. Yes, teacher, I'm here. Perfect, thank you, and welcome to your class. Norman Josimar Cruz. I'm here. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Oscar Edgardo López. I'm here. Amazing, thank you. Pablo Edilberto Cañas. I'm here, teacher. Good evening. Hey, good evening. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you. Robin Francisco Quintanilla Gamero. <clears throat> Robin Francisco, probably not yet. Eh, Saida Eunice Morales. I'm here. Hey, thank you so much, miss. Then Sergio Alcides Herrera. I'm here, teacher. Perfect, perfect. Vanessa Lizette Cort uh, Cortez. <clears throat> Miss Vanessa Alice Cortez. I probably not yet. I continue with the next person. Uh, Victor Samuel Granados. Yeah, I, I am here. All right, perfect. Thank you so much, people, as I mentioned, for joining for today's session. Today, we have some information for today's class. But tell me, let's see if you remember some information. Check on this one. What class are we having today, people? Class number? Three. 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 Exactly. three. Excellent, thank you so much. We're having class number three today. Tell me, people, uh, what do you remember for yesterday's class? What were we talking about? Um, we are talking about a mm -hmm. uh, uh, comparatives, um, yes, so the, the restaurant, uh, uh -huh. we at, at the end of the class, we, we see, we saw a fanboy. The, ah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and what else? Well, I think that is all. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you, Victor. Thank you for your contribution to the class. Thank you so much. Is it true, Mr. Katia Sarai? Do you agree with his opinion with Victor? Yes, I agree. Uh, ah. I think uh, we saw some mm -hmm. uh, new adjectives to compare mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. things and two to persons or or animals or things. Ah, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Question for everybody, just double checking on this one. How many elements can we compare at the same time with comparative adjectives? Two. Two elements. Two, two right. elements. That's correct, people. Thank you so much. We compare two elements. That's correct. Now, just to have some review and to consolidate our knowledge on this one, let me show you the first practice for today. Now, today we have a really nice practice for today's session. All right, let me change on this one and I guess it is ready. All right, question people, can you see my new screen and you see the numbers on the screen? Yes. Ah, yes, yes sir. Yes. How, yeah. how many numbers, how many numbers are there? 16. 16. 16. 16 numbers. Thank you so much. All right. And who, check on this one. We have two groups. We have the groups of? Girls. Girls. And the other group is? Boys. Boys. All right. Let's get started with the ladies. Ladies, I need your help. Can you choose a number from this one, from 1 to 16? Tell me a number. Ladies, any, any ladies? Okay. Please. Claudia, can you repeat the number, please? Three. Three. Amazing. Thank you. Good option. Oh, my goodness. Check on this one. We begin with a power up, ladies. What is the power up? Take. On. From body. All right. All right. Thank you. Ladies, you have the alternative. Five, 10, 15, 20, or 25. I want to listen to you, ladies. How many points do you want to take from the boys? 25. 25. 25, thank you. 25. 25. Oof, ladies, are you sure? 
Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 All right. Thank you so much. No problem. Sorry, boys. I am just the assistant at this moment. So, 25 for the ladies, minus 25 for the boys. I'm sorry, boys. All right. But it's your turn. Boys, tell me a number, please. Boys, 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 it's your turn. Tell me another. 17. Sorry? 17. Seven, seven. There is no 17, my friend. It's only 16. Oh, or seven. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Seven. 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 Oh, all all seven. right. Amazing. Amazing. I say the boys want to win this one. <laughs> all right. No problem. Check on this one. Boys, and I need your collaboration. All the boys. Let's read together and make the comparative sentence. You are going to use the adjective optimism. All right, let's see if we remember the elements. Boys, I want to listen to you. We read together. Boys, I am... Usually... I usually... Optimistic. optimistic. More optimistic than friend. More, more optimistic than my friend. Mm -hmm. And the rest of the sentence, she... All right, thank you. What is the comparative for this one, boys? Can you repeat? Optimistic. More optimistic. optimistic. Optimistic? Only optimistic? More. More, more optimistic, optimistic, optimistic than. than. Than, right? Than. More optimistic than. Thank you. Thank you so much. Amazing. This one is worth 10 points. All right, so this one, eight points for the boys. You see, that's fine. Minus 15, that is progress. Congratulations, boys. Let's keep it up. Ladies, you are next. Other number, ladies. 10. 10. 10. All right, amazing. Thank you. Oh, check on this Yay. one, ladies. What is the power Yay. up? <laughs> but check on the power Thank up. You, this girls. is negative. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Come on now. That's karma. <laughs> All right. Good point so, for us. Yes, exactly. Check on this one, boys. We're in the positive side. Amazing. You see? Quickly, right? That is the comeback. Boys, you are next. Tell me a number. Number four, teacher. All right, perfect. Why not? Why not? All right. Boys, let's complete. This is the adjective, and let's incorporate. A comparative adjective. Boys, everybody, the, for the boys, the market. The market is, is, is the supermarket, supermarket, supermarket for vegetables. More cheap? No, cheaper. Cheaper, cheaper. cheaper. cheaper than. Cheaper than. Cheaper than. Cheaper than. Thank you so much. Amazing. 10 points for you, boys. Amazing. 15 to 25. Amazing. Ladies, you are next. One. One. Amazing, thank you. You have good coordination, ladies, because I usually listen to two ladies with the same number. That's fine. Number one. Okay, ladies, let's complete. This is for you. The adjective is clean, and let's include that one in the corresponding space. Ladies, ready? Uh, ready? Let's read together. After. After I have the house look cleaner than, than before. Cleaner than before. All right. Can you repeat the alternative, please? We say cleaner than before. Than before. Thank you. Easy, easy for you. Ten, ten points for you, ladies. Boys, you are next again. Tell me. Burn Number nine. two. Number two, that is the first alternative I listen. Number two, right? Let's go for number two. Okay, Let's check on this one. We have the adjective wet, right? To have water in something. So let's work together, boys. It rains, rains a lot. Rains a lot in, in the spring. spring. Is April is than July. Than July. Than July. All right. What is the comparative for wet? Weather. Weather. Oh, weather. All right. All right. And well, how done. do you how do you spell it, boy? W W E T E R. Thank you. Hey, thank you so much. 
where then that's correct. In this one, we duplicate the last one. Nicely done. Check on this one, boys. This was this was for 15 points. So congrats. 15 points for you. Getting closer. Ladies, tell me you what's your option? Nine. All right, thank you. Why not? All right, check on this one. We have we are going to use the adjective far. And let's complete in the corresponding spaces. Ladies, let's begin the bus. Hello, ladies. Hey, hey, hey. The Maybe. bus station uh -huh. is, is from my house. Far yeah. from my house, then the train station. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you for that alternative. One more time, ladies. In this one, we can separate the adjective uh, from the word then, right? There is no problem to separate the elements. That's why you have two spaces. One more time, ladies. I want to listen to all of you, ladies. Three, two, and one. The bus station is farther mm -hmm. from my house than the train station. <clears throat> All right, thank you so much. Ladies, just double check in on something. How do you spell the comparative for far? You say F? F. A. Uh huh. R. 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 E. R. E. R. E. R. E. R. Hmm. Are you no. sure, ladies? Or no? No. No, Claudia, Claudia, tell, tell us. F-A-R-T-H-E-R. -E oh, thank you so much, Claudia. Thank you so much. That was like the extra question. Double check on this one. Thank you. That is Claudia's version, right? Farther, farther from my house than the train station. Hey, nicely done. 15 points for you for this, uh, for this item. Thank you. Congrats. Boys, we continue with you. What's your selection? 13. All right, thank you. Why not? 13. Let's complete, boys. We have the adjective busy. Let's read this. This restaurant, this restaurant is easier, is easier, easier than when it's first, first, first opened. When it's first opened. Thank you. Thank you so much. Easy, it's right? A, be, a piece of cake for you. Busier. Thank you. Nicely done. All right, five points different, right? That is the difference between the two, the two teams. Ladies, it's your turn again. Tell me. Eight. Eight. Hey, why not? Number eight. Check on the power up, people. <laughs> what is the power up? Press the score. Press the score. Four, four, four. All right, four, so four, four, four. Four. Nope. Ah, <laughs> ah yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only for ladies. I'm sorry. You know, I am just the assistant. Wow. <laughs> okay. No, no, come on. It's not possible. I am your assistant at this moment. So I cannot do anything. Boys, you are next. Tell me your selection. <clears throat> number, number, boys. Yeah. Five. Number five, all right, why not? <clears throat> all right, then we have the adjective. Boys, how do we complete this one? I need your help. The river. The river Thomas the river is, is longer, 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 longer than, river. than any than other any river other in England. River in England. <laughs> all right, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let's see in this one. Thames, uh, I guess the name is Thames, the river Thames. Mm -hmm. Just checking on pronunciation for that one. What was the comparison? One more time, we say long or longer. more long? Longer. 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 Thank you. Longer than. Thank you. Nicely done. 10 points for you. Ladies, it's time to catch up on points for this one. For good. Mm, tell me a number, please, ladies. Six. Ay, mira, aquí en las puntitas. Six. Que vos solo arriba te echaste. Six. 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 Check on the microphone, please. Thank you. Number six. Why not? 
six. Ladies, tell me, let's complete. The, the exam, exam results, the are, exam results are worse than, than they, they were, were last year. Yeah. Ah, did you say bother? No. Of course. Ah, okay. thank you. Just, you know, just double checking. Thank you. That's okay. Where are worse than they were last year? So, oof, not too bad. Ha, I'm happy for you, ladies. 15 points. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Boys, you are next. Tell me your selection of numbers. 14. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect. All right, let's see. In this um, one, we have other adjective here. Boys, how do we complete? Please. Come. Um, in the summer. summer. Weather in the spring. In the spring. Better in the spring. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Did you say more good? No. 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 Oh, okay. No. All right. Oh. Okay. Just double checking. Yeah. Just double checking. The alternative was? Better. Better. Exactly. Thank you so much. That is what you mentioned. So there is no problem. Better than. Thank you. Boys, you continue ahead with the points. Congratulations. Ladies, what's your selection? Go ahead. 12. 12. Okay. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Thank you. And check on this one. Ladies, how do we complete your? Exactly. Thank you so much. Better than mine. Thank you so much. Why not? 30 points for you so far, ladies. Boys, make your selection, please. No. Okay, thank you. Why not? Perfect, perfect. And then we have other adjective. Let's complete. And I want to listen to all the voice on this one. Swimming. Swimming with someone else. Swimming on your own. own. Okay, thank you so much. Nicely done, boys. Nicely done. Safer than. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay, ladies, final selection for you. What would you like to choose? 16. All right, 16. 16. Okay, thank you. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. All right, check on the adjective. We have full. And remember, we can separate the comparative adjective from the word then, there is no problem. We can we can separate. That's why you have two spaces. Ladies, let's complete the hotel. The hotel is, is fuller in, in the, the summer, summer than, than in the spring. spring. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Fuller than, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Nicely done, so 10 points for you. Boys, what number do you want, 15? 15 or 15. do you want number 15? 15, 15. okay. <laughs> ah, that, I like your option better. It's, you. it's better 15. Yes, I believe. <laughs> I believe. <laughs> yeah. Comma. yeah, I believe 15. All right, let's see. Let's check on this one. Oh, thank you. We have the last one. How do we complete, boys? I think. My diet is my diet more is healthier diet is than, than my brothers. brothers. My brothers. I eat and lots, I of, eat fruit. lots yeah. of fruit. Okay, thank you, thank you. One more time, what was the comparative in this one? More healthy. healthy. More healthy? It's more healthy. Healthier. Mm. I have divided opinions at this moment from the boys. Hmm. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Final, but final healthier. comment. Final comment. What is what is your option one more time? Healthier. Healthier. Okay, thank you. Check on this one. There healthier. you are. There you are, people. For this adjective, healthier. you say healthier. healthier. Healthier than. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And with this one, we finish on this one. Who's the winner?
who's the winner? We are. Yeah. We are the champions. Okay. Well, you, you, all of you, the boys and the ladies too, because you did nicely on the practice. Congratulations, congratulations. Probably the next practice is for you, ladies, and you win. That is no problem, right? But feel proud of your progress in this one. You did nice. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Uh, was there any question about this practice? Questions, questions? Everything clear? Think this game has tricks. Uh, the game has tricks? No. How, how is it possible? <laughs> there were some power-ups, and it was, you know, good luck or bad luck from the team. So I'm so sorry for that one. You know, that's the exciting part. <laughs> that's the exciting part. Okay, thank you so much. Let's continue and let me go back to my presentation because I have some information for you. Okay, uh, let's see. We have class three, so we socialize that one already. And today we continue working with unit number one. Do you remember the name, people? The restaurant industry. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, we continue working on that topic, but we have a different objective for today, for sure, right? We have a different objective, and I need everybody's collaboration. Okay, people, help me. Can we play together? Three, two, one. We, we, we will, will be able, able to organize, organize basic restaurants and features appetizers, snacks, meals, appetizers, snacks, meals, desserts, meals, and drink meals, options. Meals, 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 Check on this one before getting started on that one. If you remember yesterday, we were talking, let me see on my uh, laptop. We were talking about this one, the coordinating conjunctions. And we mentioned the famous, what is the name of this one? The acronym, say fan boys. Fan boys. Fun there boys. you are, there you are, thank you. This is, uh, they call it in this form because that is easier to remember, right? Easier, right? Fanboys, it's an acronym. Let's begin with the first one. Letter F, that is the meaning of what word? That is the representation of what word? Four. Four. Thank Four. you. The next one is? And. And. Thank you. And. Thank you. What about the next? No. 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 Thank no. you. No. no. What about that one? But, 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 thank you so much. Thank but, you. Thank you. What about ne the next one? Or, 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 or. Or. All right. or. Thank you so much. And what about the next? Yeah. Yet. Yeah. 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 Thank you. And the last one? So. 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 Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. In this case, these words are used to connect ideas. They connect or two ideas or two elements, but they have different meanings. Meanings. Take a look at this one. When we incorporate four in the sentences, we explain the reason for something similar to say because, right? I study English for I want a better job, right? They, I explain a reason, I right? explain a reason. I study English for I want a better job, similar to say because, okay? What about the next one? And I need your help because I know you know some information of this one. For the word and, what is the, what is the function? What do we use it for? Is this to explain a reason or to explain a purpose when we incorporate the word and? Incorporate and more elements. In yeah. Sort of, mm -hmm. It's something like to connect two ideas and mm -hmm. to continue something like this. I don't know, but I think that. I... Mm -hmm. Yes, Victor, Victor, you are correct. That's okay. To uh, you, you, we use it or it adds one thing to another to connect more ideas. All right. For example, I like fruits and vegetables, right? I like fruits and vegetables. We incorporate other element in this one, 
right? I work and I study other elements, right? That is what we incorporate. Jose Roberto, can you tell us other examples with including the word and, please? And, um, yeah. I like to play football and, no, I like to play soccer and uh -huh. basketball too. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much. That's a good example. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. What about you, Katie? Can you tell us other example with this word? I like use my cell phone and my computer. Oh, perfect. 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 Thank you so much. What about for you, Gustavo? Can you tell us other example? Hey, mm -hmm. I like to eat pizza and pupusas. Oh, amazing, amazing, thank you. That's fine, why not? Perfect, perfect, nicely done. What about for the next one, people? Let's go for nor. What do we use it for? It's a negative element. All right, thank you so much, right? We incorporate something extra, but the negative is, uh, but the sentence or the meaning is negative, right? That's okay. And we have the definition on this one. Can we read together, people? Presents. An alternative negative idea to uh -huh. an already present negative one. Exactly, exactly. So we go and incorporate one negative, one other negative element, right? I don't like fish nor uh, lobster, right? Not this one, not the other, right? We incorporate a negative element. That is how the we- The traduction? Uh-huh. Oh, sorry, the traduction or translate? Translation? It's me? Uh, practically, the, yeah, that could be a translation okay. for that one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Perfect, right? We go for a, we incorporate a negative element and the translation could be that one, right? And what about for you? Let, let me ask more people, Sergio. Can you tell us an example with this one, including nor? Hello, Mr. Sergio. Um, Tell me, sir, here we'll listen to you if you have any example at this moment. Remember, we go for negative elements, similar to my example. I, I don't want to uh, be in the party. Uh, mm -hmm. mm, nor in my house. Oh, yeah, why not? Hey, that's a good example, right? not in this place and not in the other place. That's correct, thank you, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. So probably you want to be in the English class, right? Not in the party, not in the house, in the English class. All right, thank you, thank you, Sergio. That's a good, that's a good example. What about <laughs> for the next one, people? The, the, the word but, what do we use it for? Hello, hello. What about the next one? What do we use it for? I think Any it's idea? Uh -huh. um, to use or we use that when we want to say something mm -hmm. and include an acclaration. Mm -hmm. Okay. In opposition. Uh -huh. In opposition uh, with an idea. Okay. For example, Mm -hmm. tell, I tell would like so. to go to the bed, but I have to learn English. Oh, my goodness. Is that, <laughs> is that like a message you're trying to tell me, Gustavo? No, it's only an example. Ex example, example. Yes. <laughs> All right, right. But that's a good example. <laughs> that's correct. Thank you. Your comments are okay, people. Thank you so much for the ones who participated in this one. The function for this one, can we read? What is the function people shows? Contrast. 
right? Thank you. Show contrast. Contrast to different ideas, right? As Gustavo mentioned, I want to go to bed. That is something good, but I have to be in the class, all right? So like two different ideas, contrast, right? Hey, I want to go to the concert, but I don't have money, right? So two opposite ideas on this one, all right? Patricia, can you tell us one example like this or any example including the word but? Um, I like pizza, but I don't like uh, pizza with pineapple. Oh, all right. So no Hawaiian pizza for you? No, I don't like. Oh, my goodness. And I was going to buy you one big one, extra big, right? <laughs> All right, thank you. That's fine. That's fine. All right, thank you. That's a good idea. What about for the next one, boys and girls? Let's continue. What about or? What do we use it for? An alternative. Thank you. Exactly. All right. An alternative for this one. All right. People, do you want to stay in class or do you want to go to bed? Stay in class. Ah, thank you, people. That's that's your answer, right? Or no? Yeah. Yeah. No, but say we're feeling like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> of course, teacher. I like oh, to in Of in course. Class. Thank you so much. You know. Thank you so much. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We offer an alternative, right? Do you want coffee or juice? All right. You offer an alternative, one or the other. So you offer an alternative in this one. Let me ask on this one, Guillermo. Can you give us an example, please? Do you want to eat pizza or hamburger? Oh, people, listen to listen to his offer. Guillermo is treating, right? Oof. Now, because he received uh, the payment yesterday, right? He was paid yesterday. People, yeah. what's your answer? Hello, hello. I prefer hamburger. Hamburgers for Katie. Why not? What about the rest? Remember, Guillermo is paying. People. <laughs> Nobody wants pizza. pizza. Pizza, of course. Pizza. Oh, all Pizza. right. Thank you. All right, you see. Thank you. And from Little Caesar, so it is not that expensive for you, Guillermo. So it is sufficient oh, for, for everybody. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. All right. Thank you. That's a good one. That's a good one. What about the next one, people? Yet. What do we use it for? Any idea for the word yet? Yep. For sure. For sure. It could be possible in one context. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. More ideas, people. What do we use it for? Maybe. To describe time. To describe time in one context, it is possible. Uh -huh. For one possibility. For one possibility, huh? it's Maybe possible. Not, it's hmm? not in this moment. Not in this moment. That is other context. Hey, that's correct. That's correct. As you mentioned, those alternatives are possible, right? This word yet has different, different meanings and different functions depending on the context. But for this one, to connect two ideas, we go like this one, right? This should be like the purpose or the use of this one. And I need your help. What does it say? Introduces everybody, yet introduces. Introduces a interesting idea, idea, idea that follows the preceding, preceding, preceding idea. Idea logically. Okay. Idea. idea logically. Thank you so much. Different from this one, right? There is a small difference in this one. For example, in but, you show contrast, but the ideas, it is not necessary for the ideas to have a, a, a little connection, right? Not so much. In this one, uh, you express an idea, but the second one is not affected by that one, like that result. Let me give you an example. Let's see. 
Let me copy an, ex an easy example here. Take a look at this one. This is probably real for you. I am tired, right? Are you tired, people, at this moment? Oh, yes. 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 No, no, let's change it, right? Because tired is probably a negative. Uh, no, let's, let's go for tired, just to give you the example, right? That is a reality. I am tired. But then I incorporate the word yet. I am. Check on that one. I am tired. Yet. I mean, something is happening. But that situation is not affecting the other one. Because I am really happy in the class. Right? So there is yes. a, a small connection of that one. Right? I am tired. Yes, I'm tired. Yet, right? I am really happy in class. Let me go for other one. For example, that is uh, to express that something, there is a connection, but uh, there is a contra contrasting idea, but it is a little bit connected. Check on this one. Uh, let me go for other. For example, I don't have money, yet I am going to the, let's just to give you an example, right? I don't have money, that is a, a bad situation, yet, but the, the reality of not having money is not going to stop me, right? Yet, I am going to the USA, right? So you express an idea. It shows a little bit of a contrast, but it's connected, right? That follows that preceding idea logically, right? That is what we express with yet in this context. The other functions you mentioned are real, right? Hey, have you finished? Not yet. That is for time. This yet is for other idea when you are connecting, right? Connecting uh, some expressions. I don't know if this is a little bit clearer for you people. It's a new, yes, a new form, a new form, a new function, right? Probably the word is yes. familiar with you. Yeah, it's not new, but the function is like that one. We will have practice about this one, right? We have practice for this, so don't worry uh, about uh, some information so far. What about the last one? What about the word so? What do we use it for? Um. You can mm -hmm. use to co to connect, and mm -hmm. you can use and to how do you say uh, aumentar or to to increase, to include, to, to add, add, to increase um mm -hmm. a phrase or a feeling or something like this. Ah, it is possible in a context, right? To give uh to express more of something. I am happy. I am so happy. It is possible. It is possible for that, right? To express a degree, right, of something. Is there any other opinion for so people? What do we use it for? When you are talking about something and you em mm -hmm. emphasize mm -hmm. on it. Oh, all right. It is possible. It is possible. Thank you. Thank you so much. In this one, Let's see more comments and more information about this one. And let's read together. So, indicates, everybody? Indicates, express all consequence. Consequence, exactly. That's correct. So, you express an idea, you include so, and after so, you include a possible result, a possible consequence. Okay? Let me see. For example, imagine this one. It is Friday. So, what is a possible result for that one for you? We have to go to the party. The body knows. Like, the, the, body knows the body knows it. Oh my! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's like that's a good so compliment, right? So I got to bed. All right, so I got to bed. <laughs> Oh, that's possible. So I have to study English people. Come on. All right. So in that one, you see, you express an idea. 
But after so, you express a possible result. All right. Hey, let's go for other one. Uh, let's see. Other idea. I got paid yesterday. So, what is a possible result for that one? Uh huh. I buy what? something. <laughs> Thank you. Why not? It is. Thank you so much. That's okay. What about for you, Vanessa? Let's go for that idea. I got paid yesterday. So, what is a possible result or a consequence of this action for you? I got paid rent. yesterday, so pay the bills. So I have to, so I have to pay the bills, right? That's a reality for many of yes. us, including me, right? I receive, <laughs> so I have to go to give it back to people. All right, thank you pay so much. The house. <laughs> yeah, you have to pay the house, electricity. Oh, let, let's please don't do the list because we will be depressed, right? And we don't have we don't want depression at this moment in the class. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Now, any question at this moment, people? Questions so far? We have a practice Nothing after here. this one. All right. Okay. Thank you so much. This information, uh, Katya, tell me. Um, this coordination, coordinating conjunctions, uh -huh. mm -hmm. we can use in any uh, temporal temporal time. Yes, in any tense, in any tense. Yeah. Okay. Thank it you. It is possible. It is possible because these uh these words are not limited only for the present, only for the past or for the future. No, 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 right? It depends on the idea. But the important part is that we understand the function they have, the meaning you want to express, right? Hey, I am working, uh, I am studying English, so in the future I have a better job, right? I am talking about an action in progress. I am studying, and what is the possible result? So. I will have talking about the future. So there is no problem. You can play with the tenses depending on what you want to express. Mm -hmm. All right. If you have a, any question, all right, or if you were making some annotations, that's fine. There is no problem. But let me show this one to you. Let me see. Give me a second. This is part of your books. So if you have your books, you can find this information on your book. The definitions and everything is, is there. Uh, this is the reference for the page, if you see. Where can you find this info, people? Page number? 11. 11. There you are, right? Page number 11. And let me show this to you because, you know, just to prove that everything is there. I usually, uh, not, not usually, I use the information from the book, but sometimes I get the info, all right? If you have this one, okay, this is page number 11 from your books, right? As you may see here one, page 11, and then we have the information in the book, right? For and nor, so the information is from the book. So you have everything as a backup over here. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now. Let's do a quick practice over this information. Let me get ready for the next one. This is going to be a quick one. <clears throat> Let me switch on my screen for the next practice. All right. The last time we began with the ladies, so today it's uh, it's fair we go for the for the boys first. We, we do the same, but at this moment, we have only eight opportunities in this one. So boys, think wisely and make a selection, please. Boys, boys, boys. Number two. Okay, perfect, thank you so much. Check on that one, what's the power of, you see? I am not the responsible people. Got to first place. Let's see. So five points at least, right? Thank oh. you. Thank you so much. Oh, so sorry. I, there is not I much. Will. Just a little, right? Just a little, but no problem. Ladies, make your selection, please. Six. All right. Thank you. Number six. 
All right, check on this one. We are going to complete ladies, all right? So we, in this one, remember, but shows contrast, right? Shows contrast. So I need three ladies to express ideas. That is the dynamic. Three ladies, and if the three ladies provide a correct alternative, I give you the points, all right? So volunteer number one for the ladies. I try to get... I go for Katya first, and I go to Iris second, and Stephanie third. All right, Katya. Okay, I'm allergic to cats, but I love be with them. Ah, I love. Okay, that's good. Contrast, right? Opposite. You're allergic, but you like to be with them. Thank you so much. The second person it was Iris. Go ahead, Iris. I'm allergic to cats, but I I like uh, dogs. But I like dogs. Hmm. But in that case, there is not much contrast, right? Remember the other one. I like. I am allergic to cats, but I like uh, to be with them. So remember, a kind of opposite ideas. Can we can we give other example, Miss Iris? I'm allergic to cats, mm -hmm. but my mom has one. Okay, oh, that's good, right? Shows contrast, thank you. And the last participant for the ladies was from Stephanie, if I am not mistaken. Go ahead, Stephanie. I am allergic to cats, but I want one. But I want, well, wow, what a <laughs> contrast, right? Allergic, but you want it. Yes, why not? Thank you. Nicely done. Ladies, points for you. Boys, choose a number, please. Number eight. Number eight. No problem, sir. No problem. Check on this one. We have other, other idea, other scenario, and we have the word but. All right. My dad would like to fly planes, but. All right. I need three volunteers. If possible, raise your digital hand so it is easier for me to see who wants to participate so we don't talk at the same time. The first person should be Edgar, Oscar Edgardo. Thank you so much. Mister, tell us your example, please. My dad would like to fly planes, but he, he doesn't have one. All right, he doesn't have one. Yeah, thank you. That's a good example. Thank you. Eric, you are next. What can you tell us? My dad would like to fly planes, mm -hmm. but He's an old man. He's an old man. All right. Thank you. Showing contrast. Thank you. Right. Talking about if it is possible or not. Thank you. Victor, you are next to finish on this practice to get the points. Uh, yeah. My dad would, would like to fly a plant, but plane? Uh, we don't have plane, but plane? we don't have uh -huh. planes, but we don't have the money. We don't we have, have the money. money. All right, we don't have we don't have enough money. We don't have enough money. There you are. Thank you so much. All right. Hey, good example, boys. Why not? Points for you. Ladies, it is coming back to you. Selection time. Ladies. Hi. Mm, thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Check on this one. We have a different sentence and we have the conjunction or right this is easier so at this moment i need other three ladies all right to participate feel ready to participate ladies so i want to listen to you the first one is karen stephanie and katie karen you begin please do you want to go to wendy's or biggest or biggest people what is your answer for this one imagine she is like telling us she's making the invitation Wendy's. Wendy's. Biggest. Biggest. The rest? Biggest. Biggest. Wendy's. Biggest. But you have to say, I want to go. I want to go. It's possible, right? I want to go. I want to go to biggest, right? Hey, hamburguesas al carbon, people. Remember that one. Remember that one. Hey, <laughs> Guillermo right. is inviting us. Uh, yeah. 
Exactly. Remember, he's going to buy pizza for everybody, right? Karen is taking us to, if you want to go to Vegas, she, ta she takes you, right? Or to Wendy's, right? No problem. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let me see. Second person, Stephanie, what is your example? Do you want to go to Wendy's or Pizza Hut? Or Pizza Hut. People, two alternatives. What do you choose? Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. Wendy's. Wendy's, all right? Thank you. Some people continue with Wendy's. No problem. Thank you so much. Katie, thank you so much, yeah. Miss. Now, Katie, tell, tell us your example. Do you want to go to Wendy's or Santa Burguesa? Or oh, Santa Burguesa. Interesting. Boys and ladies, what do you think? Santa Burguesa. Santa Burguesa. Santa Burguesa. Hmm. All right, interesting. Okay, that could be a good alternative. And Vanessa, I know you want to participate, so I give you the chance, no problem. Tell us your example. Nicely done, Katie. Vanessa? Do you want to go Wendy's or Mike's Burger? Or Mike's Burger, Ha! Huh? thank you. People, alternatives? Mike's Burger. Mike's burger for Iris. So you change the option. All right, thank you. And the rest? Hmm. Let's give you one example. All the ladies are okay. Let me give you one example so probably we can talk. Do you want to go to Wendy's or do you want to eat pupusas, people? What do you say? Go no to eat pupusas. Pupusas. Ah, okay. Pupusas to los planes. To los, okay, perfect. The bungalows or something like that. No? Olo, olo quinta. Oh, olo quinta. quinta. Better. It's better? Yeah. But it's more expensive, no? No, it's more, it's cheaper. In Olo Quilta, it's cheaper. Oh, more right. Yeah. All right. But, but, okay. but, but all the time is full. Uh, so it is fuller. There. Fuller than? Fuller. Ah. Uh, ten, ten los planes. Bueno, ah. it's, it's the same now. <laughs> ah. But which is farther for this time? Which is farther? Los planes or 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 lo quilta? Which is farther from San Salvador? Popular or lo quilta? Lo quilta. Lo quilta. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, after talking to this one, point for the ladies? Yes or no? Yes, right? Yeah, we have yeah. Uh, extra points for yeah. more participation. <laughs> thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies, you are on top <laughs> at this moment. Boys, make your selection, please. Don't be shy, boys. Tell me a number. Number seven. Okay, why not? Right. Number one. Number seven. All right. I need, by preference, three different boys. All right. So we have the chance to participate. The first one is Sergio, all right? Sergio, tell us your example, please. Do you want a sandwich or do you want pizza? Ah, oh, okay, people, alternative from that one, what's your answer for, for do Sergio? You want, do you want mm -hmm. uh, pizza, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah, do you want... Uh, Domino pizza. <laughs> Domino pizza. Oh, or right. Papa John. Or Papa John, oh, right? Papa John or Papa John's? Papa John. <laughs> Papa John. <laughs> a, a big papaya. papaya. A big papaya, right? Papaya. papaya. <laughs> Why not, right? Why not? <laughs> Remember, we need to be healthier, right? Healthier than the past. All right. Thank you so much. That's a good alternative. Thank you so much, Sergio. Thank you so much, Pablo. But I need one more boy to participate. Who wants to participate from the boys? I want. Okay, go ahead, mister. Uh, the same. Uh... The same scenario. Yes, please. Okay. Do you want to... I travel to oh, uh -huh. England oh. or Spain. 
Ah, interesting. All right, people, check on that alternative. What would be your selection, people? England or Spain? England. England. Some people, England. England. Oh. And why would you like to go to England and not to Spain? Is there a reason? Because the language? Because because of the language? Because oh, they're practice. For practice. Ah, that could be. Ah, all right. <laughs> it's possible. It's possible, right? Why not? Thank you. Boys, points for you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Ladies, what's your selection? Number four. Number four. Thank you so much. All right. Check on this one. We have a different sentence and we have a different word to connect ideas. Three different ladies, if possible, to participate on this one. Please, please, please. Raise your hand, right? Raise your hand if possible. Thank you. I have Monica first. Second person. I have Katia, why not? Thank you. And the third lady volunteer is, 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 Patricia, thank you so much. And Karen, thank you so much, right? I have Karen and Patricia, why not? Thank you, that's fine. Monica, you go first. Okay, uh, the baby was tired, so he is asleep immediately. All right, all right. So the baby was tired, so he slept. To continue slept. with the idea of the past, right? He slept okay. uh -huh, immediately. Hey, that's a good example. Thank you so much. The second person was? Second person? Me. Was uh, the baby. Mm -hmm. Okay. The baby was tired, so he needs his milk to go to sleep. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's a good example. It's possible. Thank you. The third person was Patricia. Thank you so much, Miss Patricia. I know you're ready. <laughs> okay. The baby was tired, so the baby needs a rest right now. Needs to rest, right? Needs to rest. Needs to rest right now. Perfect. Thank you so much. And there was a fourth person. Who was the fourth person? Was it Karen? Yeah. Thank you so much. You go ahead, Miss. The baby, the baby was tired, so he needs to go sleep. All right. He he needs to go to sleep. Go to sleep. There you are. Thank you. Nicely done. Nicely done, ladies. Good job. Points for you. Boys, what's your selection? Choose wisely. Number three. All right. Thank you. Number three. Check on that hey. one. <laughs> Boys, what's the power up? <laughs> what's the power up, boys? Take 20 points. 20 points. Ladies, 20 points. it is not and it, it is not personal, you know, right? So I'm just the assistant on this one. This so game has trick too. No, 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 no. I mean, they go for the collections. I'm so sorry for this one. Ladies, you have one alternative and that is the best alternative. What's your selection, ladies? Number? Maybe one. I think number one. Maybe. Okay, let's go for this one. All right, check on this one and I need... Some collaboration from the ladies, please. Ladies, ladies, to volunteer. Volunteer, ladies. Thank you, Vanessa. You go first. Tell us your example, please. I was feeling sick, so I go to the doctor. So, all right. So I go, or in this case, if we're talking about the past, we may go and in, incorporate a, a, an action in the past. So I went. So, so I went, went to the, to the doctor. Uh, exactly. Thank you so much. It is you go for the second example. I was feeling sick, so I need to rest. 
So I need to rest. Ah, that is a possibility. Why not? Thank you, thank you. And the third lady to participate? I was okay. feeling sick, so I take medicine. So I take medicine. It could be possible. Or you can also incorporate the past. Right? I was feeling sick, so I took. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Points for the ladies. Why not? And after this one, <laughs> who's the winner again? Sorry. Winner? Boys. 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 All yeah. right. Girls. Nah, the girls did a nice job, right? So everybody did a nice job, to be honest. So you That's should be. Too. No, it doesn't have tricks. It doesn't have tricks. It has power ups <laughs> it was power ups don't worry tomorrow that, or in that was for look yeah yeah that that was for look. exactly right so probably for the next uh sessions uh the luck is on your side why not All right thank you thank you so much now let's go for some more practice and thank you so much people for participating on this one let me return to my presentation please and we continue for the next one all right, that is what we did. You know, practice makes perfect. That is what we were doing in the previous session. Now, I need your help. Let's continue. Take a look at this one, people. What's that? Opinions, opinions. Bacon. Croissant, thank you. Bacon? Bacon? Uh -huh. Bacon, probably. Probably, all right, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Me. So delicious. I, uh, for sure, for sure. Thank you. Uh, do you like that? Do you like what you see on the screen, people? Yes, why not? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. There is no objection for that. Why not? Right? Why not? Right? Thank you. Uh, in what type of food do you incorporate bacon? Or where do you like to have bacon in your food? With eggs. With eggs? Uh-huh. With, with sandwich? Sandwich? Oh, why not? Yeah. Sandwich. With yeah, cheese. Hamburger. Hamburger. Cheese? Hamburgers? Uh-huh. Hamburger. Mm -hmm. Croissant, maybe. Croissant. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Croissant. What about on waffles or pancakes? No. 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 This is really true. Bacon uh, with pancakes? Yeah. Have you tried it? Have you tried it before? No. I no. I I guess no. no. <laughs> That's your homework assignment. Go to a restaurant to eat pancakes with, with, with bacon. It's delicious. Or with waffles. It's it's kind of good. It's a good combination. It's a good combination, believe me. All right, thank with you. Honey. Maybe I will try. Maybe, right? Try it and you let, let us know. But it is good. It's a good combination, to be honest. Now, take a look at the next one. What's that, people? Opinions, opinions. Remember, express ideas. Potatoes. What's that? Potatoes. Thank potatoes. You. Potatoes, right? Yeah. Potatoes. Fried potatoes? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. More ideas. If you tell me they are nuegalos, I believe you. No problem. What do you think they are? <laughs> No, 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 Balls yes. of cheese? Balls of cheese? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. ah, all right. Thank you. Thank you so much. You see, probably this was common for you. Thank you so much. Now, let me go for the next one. Take a look at that one. What is it, people? Fried potatoes. Onions. Potatoes. Onion oh. rings. Oh. It's nice. Onion rings. French fries. French fries. Thank you so much. All right. Let's think about this one. From... French potatoes and onion rings, which is more delicious? Oh. French fries, onion rings, onion onion rings. rings. obviously. Potatoes. Potatoes. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. 
it's uh, no problem. Some people prefer fries, some others prefer onion ring. That's fine, thank you. Take a look at the other picture, what's that? Yes, and yes, all right, thank you. Empanadas. Empanadas, all right, why not? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Rolls. Pastelitos de picado. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Cheese rolls. Cheese rolls, ah. Oh, uh, thank no, you oh, fingers, me. no, fingers. fingers. Cheese fingers. Uh, cheese fingers, ah, thank you, that could be. Thank you, thank you so much, Jose Roberto. Mm -hmm. All right. It could be, right, just as, or sometimes people call it uh, dumplings as well, right? Eh, kind of similar. Have you tried them before? Yes, and yeah. are delicious. Oh, they're delicious. What were they made of? What type of filling did they have? Chicken. Shrimp. Sorry? Shrimp. Shrimp. Oh, amazing. All right. Thank Meat. you so much. Meat. Other possibility. Why not? All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I have, I guess, the last picture for this practice. Tell me, what's that, people? Salad. Shrimp salad. Shrimp salad could be possible. Hey, why not? Tacos de lechuga. Tacos. All right. All right. Let us tacos. Right. Hey, that's nice. Why not? All right. Thank you. Imagine this one, people. Imagine this is my restaurant. And these are my starters, right? For you to get ready with food and everything. This is my menu. What would you choose to begin with your with your experience in the restaurant? I'm taking Thank orders. You. Thank you. Uh huh. People. The potato cheese. Potato, potato. All right. Thank you so much, Iris. Oh, what see. about the rest? What about the rest? Thank you so much. Onion yeah. rings. Onion rings, all right, thank you so much, right? I am taking notes at this moment. Remember, this my Gonzalo's restaurant, onion rings. What about the rest? What about this one, favorite, starters? Cheese balls. All right, thank cheese you, Gary. Hmm? Cheese and rolls. Rice. Cheese rolls, all right, thank you. Why not? Thank you, thank you. Cheese rolls. All right, all right. Eric, what, what are point. you going to, what are you going to order, point, Eric? Point. <laughs> yes, another point for the onion rings. For onion rings, thank you. Why not? Other order, right? I'm taking orders at this moment, right? Thank you. Why not? Onion ring. Onion ring, thank you, Pablo. That's a good option, actually. Thank you so much. Now, after considering these pictures, talking in general, and let me choose on some people, what about for you? Let me see, Victor, if you go to a restaurant, what's your favorite starter? Not from this picture, but in general, from, from any restaurant that you visit. Do you have any favorite starter? Um, something like cooks, cooks, uh, something uh, too easy to eat, and mm -hmm. something like salt, something like this. All right. I don't know. Something yeah. salty. Salty. Uh -huh, salty. Sorry. All right. Oh, oh, thank you so much. Hey, that's nice. That's nice. What about for you, Norman Hosimar? If you go to a restaurant, what is your favorite starter? I I choose the the bacon and onions because I like bites. Oh, that's a good alternative, Mister. Thank you so much. What about for you, Saida Eunice? What's your alternative for a starter? Hello, Aida. Hello. Probably not available at this moment, so let me choose other person. There is no problem. What about for you, Sergio? If you go to a restaurant, uh, what's your the, starter? The, I think the the star will be a little part of a snack with different flavors. Ah, yes. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, present the French uh, uh, fries and um, uh, uh, a pair of 
uh, onion, mm -hmm. onion rings. Uh, Chicken wings? Yes, yes, maybe. Oh, that's, okay. that's good. Some good. All right. Then uh, will be the, 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 the a strong dish. Uh, the main, main course. Yes. Main course. That main is like the course. principal. Exactly. Okay. Okay. That could be, right? That could be. Thank you. So the starter should be like a small, just to get you ready, right? Not full, right? Because that is not the main course. Like something small, just to open your appetite, right? And to be even hungrier if you were before. Thank you. Thank you so much. Perfect. Now, let's continue with some information that is part of the book. Over here, we continue working. And let me see. We go for page number 12 on your books if you have the info, right? So you can see this conversation on your books. If not, I am just uh, sharing my screen on the book. Tell me, we have some people participating in these conversations. What are the names of the people? Nancy, Nancy and Jennifer. And Jennifer. Jennifer. All right, thank you. Tell me your opinions, people, because probably it's difficult to know. Who do you think this lady is? Is this Nancy or is this Jennifer? Nancy. Nancy. Could be Nancy. Yeah, Nancy. Could be Nancy. And so the other, oh, Jennifer. So uh, this lady is Jennifer for some people. Jennifer, yes. Yeah. All right. And why do you think this lady in the computer is Jennifer? Because he's attending. Because he's check. Mm. She's checking. She's attending a person. All right. No problem. No problem. Let's go for this one, people. We have some conversation and I need your help. So we continue in the good time of practice. Let me show you this one. Let me change the colors. I will give the chance, all right, for boys to be Nancy. And I will uh, give the chance for ladies to be Jennifer on this conversation, right? We have a practice in which we alternate. Boys read together, ladies read together. And we finish on this conversation. Tell me, people, are you ready for practice? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes sir. All right. Thank you so much. I love that. Thank you so much. Uh, so, ladies, begin or boys? No, boys, right? Boys. 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 boys, right. boys, thank, boys. You, thank you so much. All right. Boys, let's get ready. Three, two, one. How? How well are, are, well are, are they the new, new meaning meaning is doing? Ladies? The, the main fish and chips courses are doing great. 99% of people like them. Then the new lemon cake line is, is not doing very well. well. Very well. Only only five percent of our customers of like it. Customers like it. Like it. Thank you, boy. Let me check. Just like you said. Thank you. Customers like them. Thank you. Ladies, we finish this up. Probably. Probably, Probably we, we have to advise the lemon cake since not many people break them well. Thank you. Thank you so much. Nicely done, people. Nicely done. Check on this one. I just need your collaboration quickly with some information at this moment. But let me change the color, I guess. Let me see. Let me change the color for something probably uh, more appealing and something easier to see so see this one. Ah, that's better that's better and that's nice okay let's get started on some feedback on pronunciation all right people how do you say this symbol when you talk about quantities and numbers as in this conversation we say we Percent. 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 Thank you so much. Right? Percent. Thank you so much. Nicely done. 
Check on this one. There is a combination of sounds in the last part. We, we have the simple past and we have a word that can be combined talking about the sounds, right? Individually, we say liked and the other it. But it is not necessary to stop. It is not necessary. We can say liked it. Like the customers liked it, right? It's a combination, like liked it. it, right? Check on that one. Let's listen and practice everybody. Liked it. Like liked it. Liked it. Liked it. Liked it. Liked it. Liked it. Liked it, right? So we go liked for a combination, it. right? Liked it. There you are. Thank you. So in this one, it is not necessary to stop. Right, it is not necessary to say, Hey, customers liked it, not necessary, right? Liked it one sound, liked it. Thank you. And the last one, just double checking on pronunciation in the final part. How do you say this verb? Reactive, 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 reactive. Yeah, Very that's correct. Reactive. Right? Okay. Not so many people reactive. There you are. Now, people, after this conversation, who is Nancy? Who do, who do you think Nancy is? Nancy is the computer. A woman on the computer. Uh, she is Nancy for, for, for Oscar. Yes. All right. Do I think Nancy you... is the another girl? Nancy is the other girl. Why, mister? I imagine because Jennifer is looking the information in the computer about the, the question that Nancy is doing. Ah, that, that's a good reason. That's a good reason. Thank you so much. And it is possible. Thank you so much, Gustavo. Good analysis on that one. It could be possible, all right? Because of what the person is expressing in this one. Katia, tell me, how can I help you? I think uh, Nancy is the woman on the computer because uh -huh. it says, let me check the online pools of recent products. Ah, all right. Let me check the online polls for recent products. Ah, interesting, Katia. So she's making reference to using the computer, right? Thank you. Thank you so much. Nicely done, people. At this moment, just it was just to give you some chance to express ideas, but it is possible. Based on this one, probably Nancy is the one in the computer, right? Because she said, hey, let me check. Right. Let me check some online polls, right? So they were checking on comments from customers. Thank you. Nicely done, people. Nicely done on this one. Let's go quickly for some exercise. Let me see. Let's clean the drawings and let me go for the next quick exercise. Let's take a look at number three. Exercise number three on our books. All right, and take a look at the instruction. Let's read together. Well, the first part, look, can, can you help me please? Look at the graphic. Uh-huh. And the conversation. Conversation. By the presentation. With a partner. Exactly. We check the percentages, right, about this one. And we have the graphic next to this one. This is the comments for everybody. Those are the, the polls, right? Online polls. They were collecting some comments from this one. What about the lemon cake? Check on the graphic. What is the percentage for the lemon cake? Is around 35. All right. 35%. All right, let me make it bigger. 35%. Ah, thank you, Vanessa, and thank you. Let's copy this one, right? To give an uh, an estimate on this one, right? An approximate number, right? 
Forgive me for my beautiful numbers, people. All right. What about the next one? For the new nacho snacks, what is the percentage of people who liked it? 80%. Exactly. Thank you so much. And what about for the last dish, for the last uh, item in the menu? 100. 100. 100. 100. Yeah. No, there is not 100. No 100. 99. Oh, my goodness. Yes, that's correct. It is really close. Really, really close. All right. Thank you so much. So let's copy this one. All right. Thank you so much. 99%, right? Perfect. So those are the comments that people were expressing, right? Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, let's continue with more practice. We have some vocabulary to cover on this one. And after the vocabulary, we have some speaking practice because, you know, we love to participate and to, uh, to talk. That's the idea. Check on this one. We have some vocabulary in this part. And I need your help, as always, to check on this one. Let's alternate, please. The first one is for the ladies, talking about the first dish. The second one is for the boys, ladies, and boys. So we alternate. So we have some information here. Oh, sorry. So ladies, let's begin. What is the first vocabulary word that we have in this one? Ladies, ladies. Thai chicken and rice. Uh huh. Thai chicken and rice. Thank you. Boys, what is the next vocabulary word? French. Onion soup. Onion soup. Onion soup. Uh -huh. Thank you. Ladies, the next one. Burger. 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 Thank you. Boys, you're next. Cheese and, and tomato, tomato sandwich. And tomato sandwich. Thank you. Ladies. Lemon cake. Lemon cake. Perfect. Lemon cake. Thank you, boys. Real fish and potatoes. and potatoes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ladies, next one. Green salad. Green salad. salad. Uh -huh. salad. Thank you. Boys, what is the next one? English tea. English, English tea. tea. English tea. English. Ladies, what about the next? Pink lemonade. Pink lemonade. Pink lemonade. Thank you. And boys, the last one. Green Green salad, salad, and salad and cream. And cream. And cream. And cream. And cream. Hey, perfect. Thank you so much. And nicely done, everybody. Now, double checking on this information, we have different categories for this vocabulary. The first one, what is the first category, people? We say? Starters. 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 Snacks. The next one, main snacks. 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 Uh -huh. Main course. Main, main course. course. Desserts. 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 And, and drinks. 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 Exactly. Thank you so much. From this vocabulary, people, that we have in the vocabulary we practice, which of these vocabulary words, this one, which are the starters? Onion soup. All right. Onion soup. Let me highlight that one. All right. Onion soup, any other starter people? Green salad. All right, green salad. Let me see. Let's highlight this starter. Uh, let's see the salad, 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 salad. I lost it. Green, green uh, salad. Yeah, it's, it's below, right? Green salad, starter. But uh -huh. I'm not sure, really not sure. Okay, we could be, right? It depends on the portion, probably. Is there mm -hmm. any other starter, people? Cheese and tomato sandwich could be. All right, like a starter? Okay, why not, right? Why not? All right, thank you so much. Let me switch colors <clears> at this <throat> moment. And what about for snacks, people? Teacher, Tell me. I have a question. Go ahead. And uh, what is the difference in starters and entries? Ah, entries. Uh, the 
I just, let me check pronunciation. It could be the, the portion, right? For this, uh, the entries, or I guess the pronunciation is French, if I am not mistaken. I, I guess it's on tray. I am not, I'm not sure, but I will check. In this one, the difference is like the portion. If we talk about a starter, the portion is a little bit bigger than the first one. Let's say, I guess, let me double check. Let me double check on this one, just to be sure. But I guess the difference is only the portion. Probably not the ingredients, but probably the difference is the portion, right? Let's see, entry, entry, the main dish. For appetizers, for meals of dish served before. Uh, it could be like the order of the dishes also, right? But generally we can say in this one, it's let's say the portion. Let's call that the portion is different from this one. Starters are bigger than the entries, as we mentioned, or appetizers. It could be right. Small portions, appetizers, starters, and then main dish. Talking about the portions you receive. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. All right, my pleasure, my pleasure. What about the next one, people? Uh, talking about snacks. What snacks do we have in this vocabulary list? Burger. Mm -hmm. uh, a burger, like a snack, it could be possible. Any other? Grilled, grilled fish and potatoes. All right, grilled, grilled fish grilled. and all right. Why not? It's possible. It's possible. Is there any other snack? I think cheese and tomato sandwich. All right. Cheese, it could be, right? Let me do other line here, right? So we have different opinions and that's perfect. All right. Thank you. What about for the next one? Main courses. In this one is like the principal dish and also. All right, thank you. Thank you so much. Maybe grilled fish and potato. Yeah, okay. Potato. All right, let me copy this one. Why not? All right, why not? Any other alternative? All right, probably not. What about uh for the next one? Desserts. Lemon cake. cake. Ah, lemon cake. Thank you so much. Is there any other? Fruit salad, salad and cream. Salad and cream. <laughs> All right, perfect. Fruit, salad, and cream. Thank you so much. And that's pretty much it. Okay. What about on the other one? What about on drinks? English tea. English tea and pink okay. lemonade. Pink lemonade. And lemonade. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Question. If you go to a restaurant, what's your favorite drink? Beers. Beers are <laughs> why beers for breakfast. Why not? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> any other any other preference on drinks, people? The coffee. Orange juice. Uh, Depends um which restaurant. All right. Uh think about one it's... restaurant, Karen, and tell me what preference you have in that restaurant. Smoothies. Smoothies. For the dinner, coffee. Ah. Uh, Okay. It's the, the it's the pan pan the food, I think. It depends on the food as well, right? Yeah, that's a good point. So returning for breakfast, did you mention? Coffee. Coffee for dinner and for and for breakfast. Yeah. Karen prefer all, coffee all, day. all the time. All, <laughs> all the time. time. Yeah. And for the lunch, ice coffee. Huh. For the lunch, ice coffee. Mm. Different presentation, but coffee. <laughs> yeah. Why not, right? Yeah, why not? Thank you. That's good. That's good. Thank you so much. Now, people, after checking on this uh on this vocabulary and talking about different categories, we go for the speaking practice, and that is uh almost the last practice for today. Let me explain what we do and how we work on this one. Let me switch at this moment for my presentation and I show this one to you. At this moment, we will work in small groups, all right? Small groups. And I will give you access 
to a docu to an online document, right? So the group will have access to this information. And I need your help. We need to imagine we have a restaurant, right? So the first task in your groups, you are going to choose, check on this one. What are you going to choose as a group in the first one? You choose? Name of restaurant. The name of restaurant. Perfect. So in your groups, select the name or choose invent. There is no problem. The name of the restaurant. The next element you need to copy here one is the restaurant number. Oh, All right, Felipito, <clears throat> Carlitos. So you, you 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 write the name, the names of the members of the group, right? The real names. All right. So I know who is working. The next part in the second slide, we have some information. What is the next the second section we have? Starters. Starters. Thank you. Right. As a as a group, I need your help to select the type of starters you are going to offer in your restaurant. And by preference, choose pictures and put pictures in the presentation, right? This is like a, like a project we will do, but the important part is for you to speak. So you, as a group, select the starters you are going to include, and if possible, include pictures, not, not letters, right? Pictures, if possible, right? So because later you will have a short and a small presentation. What about the other element? What else are you going to include? Snacks. Snacks. Thank you. That is other element that you incorporate in your restaurant. The next slide is for? Main course. Main course. Main course. Exactly. So that could be the principal or your specialty, if possible. Right? What else do we include? Desserts. Desserts. All right. Thank you. And the last element to incorporate in the menu is? Thanks. All right. Perfect. All right. That is what you do. That is what you do at this moment. So you work together, you discuss, you bring alternatives. And tell me, are you going to copy text in the presentations, in the slides? No, they no, no. let us take exactly. notes. Exactly. You include pictures. Remembering this document, let me, oh, sorry, I just closed this one. In the document, all of you have access. So please be careful. If one person modifies something, the person modifies the complete document for the group. So please be alert of that one. Everybody will work in the same document. So please don't erase and include only the information that you talk in your groups, right? Let me see at this moment, we work in small groups. Let me create the small groups and then I give you the next instruction. Let me see. We are going to be working in uh, groups of seven. That could be nice. All right. And let me copy something for you. I have the access here. We have seven groups. Let me just share that one over WhatsApp. Okay, and let me copy the same links over this video conference. Okay, tell me people, do you have the links in the WhatsApp group at this moment? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. Perfect. They are divided group one, group two, three, four, five, and six, and so on. All right. So please access the link that you are part of. Group number one is for Gustavo, Jorge, Manuel, and Patricia. So you four people click on group number one. The rest, no. Group number two, Jose Efrain, Karen, Katie, Oscar. That is group number two. Look for the link and access to that one. That is your presentation, right? Only for you. Group number three, Miguel, Monica, and Sergio. Group number three. Group number four, that is Guillermo, Iris, and Roberto. So you click on that one. And, and the rest, you go like that one. Check on the name of your room, please. Because I guess Zoom gives you the alternative. When we access to the rooms, it tells you the number of group you are. So please 
look that one on the links. Okay. Here at this moment, about what the doc, about what document you need to access. Questions, questions. Sorry, I can hear my name. Uh, all right. Uh, let me double check. Uh, who was talking? Sorry. Katia. <laughs> okay, thank you. Sorry, sorry, I didn't catch that one. Katia, 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 you will be group number seven. Katia, Eric, and Norman, group okay. number seven. Number six, Stephanie, Saida, and Victor. But when you access to the rooms, you will see the group you are part of. So you are, uh, you can check on the links on WhatsApp. Hmm? Be sure. Tell me, tell me, Pablo. In group, for me, five. For, for, yeah, in group number five, I have Claudia, Pablo, and Vanessa. Mm -hmm. Okay. Five. Okay. Five. Yeah. Group number five. Correct. I know. I am um, group number four, teacher. Group number four, Jose Roberto. Let me check. Jose Roberto, where do I have you? Let me see. Group number four, Jose Roberto Escalante. Group number okay. four. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Let's get started, people. I begin the breakup rooms. And when you see the name of your group, so you look for the WhatsApp uh, link and then you access. Thank you so much. Teacher Manuel is not here because he works. All right, all right, no problem. But at least we have the chance for Patricia and Gustavo to participate, right? Yes. All right, so are you working in group number? One. One, so you're, the name of the restaurant is Marbonello. Is that okay? Uh, Marbonello. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry. Right, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> That's fine. Thank you so much. All right. So let's go for the practice. Remember to generate ideas, look for pictures, and complete your menu. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> uh, like, uh, what do you <laughs> think? What, what do you think, classmates? Efraín and Oscar. Uh, Mexican food yes. or Salvadorian Me food? Mexican food is okay. Yes, yes, yes. Mexican food is a good option. Okay. We need a name of the restaurant Bye. for a Mexican food restaurant. But what will we need the, the no name? So sorry, I don't hear you. This is this is the file. 
I am I am starting with the name of the restaurant Full Street. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Remember to express opinions, right? Go for the democracy and that one, right? So incorporate that one and then remember to incorporate pictures for your menu. Right? Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. Nicely done. Starter. What kind of Yes, guacamole. Okay. Ah. Okay. Do you want another starter or only this? Um, and and twist or a starter salty ever. Starter. <laughs> I don't know. Salty? <gasps> Una de las Entries. Ya, noche. Así lo digo. Salty. Entries. Salty and rice, or the cookies salty. Hello, hello. How are you doing? I have a question, teacher. Tell me, tell me. Uh, on the menu, mm -hmm. uh, we, we invent the restaurant or one that already exists? No, you invent it. You invent okay. it. This is your restaurant. So you select a name for your restaurant and then you select the menu. You include the starters that you want, uh, the main courses, the drinks. So this is your creation for the restaurant. Okay, thank you. Restaurant in Saida. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> perfect, perfect. <laughs> but in English, Miss Saida, please, at least Miss. <laughs> Sorry. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That That's fine. Thank you. Nice it done. Nice it done. So please go for the discussion uh propose ideas and look for pictures and put them put them there thank you nicely done okay okay uh, yeah yes okay tortilla t-shirt mm -hmm. welcome hey thank you Tor tortilla in english is the same right yeah that's correct. Some okay. people say like tortilla, right? Because they don't have the, the sound yeah, right? Tortilla. That is not uh, particular for English. So they say tortilla sometimes. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And we, we have some, um, I don't know, how can I say duda? Uh, a doubt. Doubt. If uh -huh. just, uh -huh, we, we just put in a picture yeah. or description too? No, only pictures. Only pictures. Okay. Okay. Right? okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Your starters look delicious. Oh, <laughs> obviously. Yeah. Because... And, and, and at this time, it's like I, I, I'm just getting hungry. Mm -hmm, yeah, yes. yeah, really. <laughs> happy, happy taquita, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. That's a good one. That's a good happy taquita. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. All right. Perfect. So remember, you uh, discuss, you incorporate ideas, uh, and then you make a decision, and then you put the pictures over there. Thank you so much. Nicely done. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's go to the snacks. Uh, what do you think about the... Unos burritos. Me too, with uh, uh, <laughs> <fries>. <laughs> I don't know, and... Um... Potatoes. 
Ah, yes. Um, and how do you say relleno? Is 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 too? Is no? I I don't I don't remember. I don't but know. The, the pepper with relleno. <laughs> uh huh. Yes. <laughs> but uh, I, I think in this case we can use uh, Chile Relleno because it's the name the owner name I don't know but it's a, um, a spicy pepper with cheese and and other things for example uh, meat or uh, only cheese. I don't know. Ah, it's too fat pepper. Tough, tough pepper, it's right? Tough. That is when you ah, put something it, inside. So you were ah, okay. very close <laughs> to the idea. Nicely done. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank perfect, you. Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. How is the practice going? Everything okay? Yes. 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 All okay. right. Remember to incorporate the picture if possible to the presentation, all right? Thank you. So yes, okay. continue creating your, your restaurant. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> Teacher, yeah. we have and a problem. What's going we, on? Uh, to put the picture. Yeah. Group, your group number two, correct. Let me see. Yeah. You're working on El Mariachi. Yes. Amazing, amazing. So what's the situation? What's going on? Is it difficult for you to put the pictures in this one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't have uh, the the tool, the program tool for for mm -hmm. put a picture. Ah, oh, really? And where are you getting the document? Uh, what is the the where do you have the picture? Is it online? Yeah, online. All right. But if you have the picture over there uh, on a browser, just right click on that one and say copy picture. And then you paste it over here. That should be the solution for that one. Or if any other person of the group can put the pictures, there is a problem. So you are working as a team. So you probably Oscar, probably Jose or Karen or Katie, any person, right? You can you can go on that one. Let's see. It it's telling you to go for the combinations. Control Control V to paste it. Con, so go on that one. Yeah. There you are. Right, because sometimes uh, when you're working online, uh, especially on the slides, when you go right click and you say paste, uh, it tells you go for the shortcut. So you go for that one. Nicely done. Thank you, thank you. We have like two or three minutes to continue with the practice, so let's keep it up. Thank you so much. Thank you, okay. teachers. Perfect. Uh... <laughs> Research. Research. Um. Ah. 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 Pero con privado. Cuando... 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 Cu
Como cortesía de la casa. Cortesía y agua con la, la, la factura agregada. <risa> This meeting is being recorded. All right, all right. Thank you so much for joining back to the main station. Tell me, my business people, is your restaurant ready? Yes, teacher. Number yes. four. I don't ready. know, teacher. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. All right. No All right. problem. No problem. Number four. We yes. are ready, teacher. Not yet. Number group number three are ready. Three and four are ready. Okay. I know some people are ready. Some others were still having a good conversation and deciding on what to include. So there is no problem. Thank you so much for joining to the practice. Tomorrow, we will continue on this one just for a short time. And then we have some speaking practice because, you know, you are the owners of the restaurant. So you may socialize uh, later, but that, that is for tomorrow. I explain the activity next time. All right. So people, it was an honor working with you today. Tomorrow, we continue with more information, more speaking practice. So I hope you have a good night and a perfect day tomorrow. See you next time. Teacher, I have a question. Thank you. Tell me, tell me. Go ahead. Huh? My pleasure. Tell me, tell me. Where I save the file? Uh, the file is automatically saved because it is online. You can close it and everything is saved. No problem. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, right? thank you so much, people. Thank you. Thank you. So have a good night. Good and see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, everybody. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you. Good night. See you.